your discretion. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Good morning, everybody. It's the Fobra. And mornings like this remind me how much I love my Oxford heated grips. Got my uh, four strokes on. And it's a pretty chilly morning, although it's supposed to be in the mid to high 60s this afternoon. So I'm riding in. And man, fingers feel great. I mean, granted, I'm not doing, you know, highway speeds, but feels good. Feels good. So, um, yeah, I've been kind of quiet lately. Um, I don't know, just get back into the swing of things, I guess. Been working on my arm still, trying to get it stronger. I think I actually heard it a little bit the other day, overdoing it, but uh, she feels okay. But enough about me. Uh, purpose of this vlog is to talk about my buddy uh, Clutch First good buddy of mine, local guy. He's really a heck of a guy. He's a great vlogger too. Uh, he put up a video just the other day uh, about a stop in New York City and uh, I'll be honest with you, the first time I saw it uh, I was a bit uh, you know not, not pissed off but like you know what, that's a bogus stop. The guy stopped him if you don't know and I'll put a link down below or maybe I'll throw a little thing of it here. Check him out. He's an awesome vlogger if you haven't subbed to him yet. But um he was going through New York City and, uh, you know, in New York City people are parked in the right lane and things are just getting crazy and he's, she's trying to go through and uh, an NYT, uh, NYPD officer kind of pulled a Starsky and Hutch and kind of, you know, pulled up and uh, got out of the car and pulled him over. And uh, when he asked him what he had did, what he had done, he said it was because he had a GoPro and you can't have a GoPro. Now, yeah, that's a bogus uh, charge that is. Um, you can't have a GoPro. Give me a break. You actually can't video on the bridges and tunnels in New York City. And that's the truth because I've seen the signs. And I think one time a, a, a Port Authority cop actually asked me because uh, we had sometimes we used to have trouble with our easy passes working. He asked me, is that a GoPro? And I said, yeah. He goes, is that on? I said, no, the battery was actually dead. So it was a non-issue. But I think that is a legit thing. And, you know, for the Homeland Security in a post 9-11 world, I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, right or wrong but in your you know riding around in the streets you, you don't need it but you know there is this perception this uh, I'm gonna call it vehicular profiling that you know what it's so it's okay to pull over uh, motorcycles and they do it all the time uh, the state troopers are doing that in here in New York New York right after the um, the start of the season to check everybody's registration and inspection and paperwork but you know what you never know what this officer has seen in New York City, I mean, there's a lot of unregistered bikes, and, you know, I know he's got a beautiful Ducati Monster, but let's be honest here, he could also, I mean, it, to, to the, uh, somebody who's not into motorcycles, they might, oh, by the way, I'm going to stop here and say, look at that, look at that DS83 dog tag, can you get a good shot of that? Isn't that sweet? Got to rep my boy downshift. Hope you, I, I love this thing, it's gorgeous. So anyway, Squirrel! So, you know, to somebody who doesn't know anything about bikes, does a Ducati Monster look that much different than a stunted out F4i or ZX6R or something that they're used to seeing? Many of which don't have tags or insurance or have a rider with a, a license. So, you know, it's a completely different thing. Maybe he thought that. So I, while I agree it was a bogus, a bogus uh, reason to pull him over, you know, I kind of understand. Plus, when I tell people that I have a GoPro, people say the same things. Oh, do you wheelie? What do you do? I'm like, no, I, I wear it for mostly for protection. I mean, I hit record almost every time I swing my leg over the bike. But to the public, they just think we're exhibitions. I guess exhibitionists. That yeah, exhibitionists, which is a lot like when you tell somebody you ride a sport bike and they think you go 500 miles an hour on the way to the uh, to the grocery store. You know what I mean? Um. You know, there are these connotations, which are, you know, loosely based on truths, but, you know, it, we, we don't have to accept them. So anyway, I mean, I kind of get it. Is, is that probable cause to pull him over because he fits the profile of somebody he might think would be doing something irresponsible, illegal? Yeah, I guess that could be considered probable cause, but that's not what kind of, you know, got me. It's when I returned to this... Um, this video, and uh, I guess it was picked up by Reddit and a whole bunch of other, uh, uh, you know, online places or internet uh, bulletin boards or whatever you want to call it. 
So anyway, it kind of blew up. You know, it blew up yesterday. I think I had like 33,000 views on it. It was ridiculous, which is great. I mean, I, I'm glad that Clutch gets the exposure because he certainly deserves it. But, I mean, there were people who were hating on police officers, calling them pigs, saying that they, you know, took away your, your rights and whatnot. And you know what? That's, that's not... I, I know that certainly wasn't Clutch's intent to, uh, to do that. And I think that it's rude and insensitive for people to do that. You know, you know this, this officer didn't draw his gun. He didn't pull out pepper spray like that, that cop in uh, Texas. He wasn't trying to cause harm. It wasn't malintent. And yet, you know, he's branded a pig and, uh, you know, a scumbag and all that stuff. And you know what? These men and women are doing the job that, that most people don't want to do. And I, I just I don't like uh, people kind of hate on them or hate on all police officers when they're not doing anything wrong. Then, you know, I don't, in my opinion, that officer didn't do anything horrific to warrant those types of names. Did he do something wrong? Yeah, I don't think he was in the right what he did. But he didn't, you know, he didn't draw his gun. He didn't cuff him. He didn't do any of the horrible things that, that you know, somebody who was abusing authority could have done. <clears throat> so that, that was my thing. I was just a little taken aback that people were so hateful towards police officers. And yet I wonder if they'd be the first one to, to scream and call a police officer and be like, help, I'm being robbed. And, you know, maybe that police officer would be like, you know what, pound salt, man, I'm not helping you. Oh, these Pilot Road 4s feel good. Dope. Um, yeah, I still don't. I only have about 50 miles on these tires, and uh, this is my second ride on them. I don't think this guy likes me. Yeah, I got my brights on. What up? You can see me. I don't care. I'm not getting hated by putting my brights on, because I want to be seen got that visibility though I just you know uh, like I said I know that wasn't Clutch's intent and yet people kind of took it there and I'm sure it got even worse but you know what I don't know why there's so much hate towards police officers I mean there's there's plenty of bad people in this world without branding an entire population because isn't that what you know isn't that what hate is but you know I guess it's okay because they're police officers and they put themselves on the line so without getting too crazy, I just, you know, I, I just, I don't know. That was my, that was my feeling. I just felt that people got a little out of control. I think it's a good discussion to have about, I'm going to call it vehicular profiling, but I don't, now you're doing police profiling the other way. You're telling them they're all bad. So, you know what, there's got to be a change made. I understand that, but uh, it's got to be done the right way. So, be safe, be careful. And right like they don't see you as we take back the streets this spring. All right, take care, everybody. See you.